Welcome back. I'm wondering if you can guess what this video is about. In just a couple of days, they're going to be running the Kentucky Derby. And so today I decided to do a video on the Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby actually started in 1874. The grandson of one of the members of the Lewis and Clark expedition actually started the Kentucky Derby. And it's actually a three part race. The first part is the Kentucky Derby, which is held at Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky. It's called the Run for the Roses. And the reason they call it that is that the winner, the winning horse, receives a blanket covered in roses and it weighs about 40 pounds. The second race is the Belmont Stakes at Belmont Park in Elmont, New York. And that is the oldest race of the three. It actually started in 1867. And then the third leg, is the Preakness, which they run in Pimlico Racecourse in Baltimore, Maryland. And if the same horse wins all three races, which is extremely difficult to do, then it becomes the Triple Crown. Now, in 1973, they called this horse the most famous racehorse of all, and that's Secretariat. Secretariat won all three races and broke the record for all three races. In fact, Secretariat ran it in a minute 59 in 1973, and that record has not been broken yet. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the traditions that go along with the Kentucky Derby. And over here, I have what's called the mint julep. They serve over 125,000 mint julep drinks over the course of the two day weekend when they run this race. And it's a very simple drink, but a very specific way to make it. You take two ounces of bourbon and you mix it with two ounces of what they call simple syrup, which is nothing more than water, equal amounts of water and sugar heated, not boiled. And you add that to some mint leaves and then you add only crushed ice and you stir it with a spoon. You never shake it. That's a, for a martini. And what happens is they're served in this silver cup. And I guess by stirring it, it causes the cup to become frosted and becomes very appetizing looking and rather tasty to drink. The other tradition are the hats. Actually, the whole outfit. Lots of women wear these hats. Some are wild, some are mild, some are large, some are small, some wear fascinators. And then they wear, sometimes they'll wear a simple sheath dress, a flowered sundress. And most often they don't wear a stiletto heel. They'll wear a wedge because there's a lot of walking. And if you have to walk on grass, the last thing you want to do is walk on grass in a pair of stiletto heels. And the men, dress up in wild and mild suits, and they have their own sets of hats. And so that sets the tradition for the Kentucky Derby. So please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell because I have another video coming very soon, and you don't want to miss it because it's all about your mom and Mother's Day. Thanks for watching.